Here's a quick soldering example. I'm just, uh, that's my finger. You can see the side of my finger. These are 3 mil square Oslon Osram high power LEDs I'm mounting. You can see the back of them. Oh, not that one you can't because it's just shot off somewhere. Where did it go? Stuck on there. Stuck on the side of my marker pen. Right, if we turn them over, I'll just show the back. Wherever it is. Over here somewhere. You can see it's got three little strips and the central one is not connected to anything but it's a heat sink, it's a heat transmission pad and you see there's a little dink in there and I know on this one it needs to go that way up and so on and uh, here's a white one and the white one has to go the other way up for some reason but I just thought I'd show you because it's quite interesting because I've just been soldering these and this is a uh, high conductivity thermal conductivity board so what I've done is I've wetted the pads with a tiny bit of solder. You can't use too much, but it doesn't really matter so much. I've, this is about the third big strip I've done. It's for a lighting project we're developing. Oh, agricultural grow lighting, actually. So let's have a go. I'll just show you this. I thought you might. It's an interesting illustration of um, how the surface tension of the solder actually helps you to position these parts. If I can get somewhere where it's not going to be in the shadow. So just generally heating the area put it around all of these um, LEDs are connected to a heat plane so it's going to take a little bit of heating so here we're going to heat them up until we get melt you have to be patient because there's a lot of heat sinking on this board via the tracking in fact give you a better view okay so if we just um, bring that forward slightly put some heat on there you go, see it's all melted. Now watch this. Drop the lead on and let go. Give it a nudge. And then just push it down to push any extra solder out. And it's done. Let's try again with this one. Right, let go of it. Can you see it actually goes into position on its own? That's the power of the uh, the power of the surface tension of the solder which locates, that's what the surface mount process relies on. I'll do this one as well. You can see it just scoots along, I didn't push that and then bang it's in position. You can see it's actually quite hard, it's actually jumping around <laughs> to, to actually the right place. So you can see the solder in general, if the pads are correct, will position the component in the right place. I wasn't looking forward to soldering these LEDs, but as it turns out, it's much easier than I thought. And if you've got the little bit of extra solder which has come out of the joint, you can just push it away, look, it's just little bubbles, see? Well, just a very quick video on soldering components and the power of the um, surface tension on alignment of surface mount, so I thought you might find that interesting.